Hallelujah. Glory be to the living God. I was just sitting here thinking about, you know, this guy. Uh, he been on my heart a lot. Um, this guy used to hang within the streets. You know, he was like one of my best friends before I got saved. You know, out there in the world, we did a lot. Did everything together. We clubbed together, drunk together. You know, we did all kind of sins and everything together. He was like my best friend, you know. Uh, he was like a brother to me, you know. And uh, I heard that he, he passed away. Because he, he always had been a diabetic. But, you know, he never did take care of himself. And so he ended up losing his leg. They, they amputated his leg. And then he just ended up dying, you know. And um, I've been thinking about it all day. I've been thinking about it like, man, because I remember when I had got saved and a few years back, I had reached out to him. And, you know, he went by the name Burner. That was his street name. And, you know, I reached out to him and I started telling him about the Lord. You know, I started telling him, like, look, bro, like, it's a better way, man. Like, it's a better way than to be out here in these streets and, and scamming and selling drugs and doing all of these things. Man, all that stuff, it just leads you to hell, bro. And I was like, man, Jesus changed my life. You know how I used to get down. You know how, how it was with us, man. But the Lord changed me, man. He set me free from all these strongholds. And he commanded us to repent of our, our sins, you know. And I, I would tell him about the Lord. But he never really received it, you know. He never took it to heart, you know. He, he never believed. He never came to a, a place of repentance in his life, you know. And he just wanted to be another gangster rapper and live that lifestyle you know and we did live that lifestyle we li we lived that lifestyle for real together gang banging claiming bloods you know and but unfortunately passed away you know i've just been thinking about it like man you know he done slipped into eternity now it's like i wonder like i wonder if god opened the gates of hell what message would he come back and say you know i've been thinking about that like what would he say now now that he done slipped into eternity and he has had this this experience now and he know how real it is, I wonder what would he come back and say. And you know, I've just been thinking about it and just thinking about our lives here. Our lives is just, just temporary like the Bible says in the book of James. Our life is like a vapor. You know, we, we here for a little while and then we pass away. It, it vanishes away. Uh, we, we all living on borrowed time. And every day, is another day closer to us dying, another day closer to us to death. Because let's face it, reality, we all gonna die. Nobody lives forever. Not in this present temporary world, but our soul is everlasting. And when we die here, our soul goes somewhere. It's either heaven or it's either hell. And that's just the reality of it. Jesus talked about hell. That in that place is weeping and gnashing of the teeth, the fire never quenches and the worm never dies. And uh, hell is a reality. Hell is real. And, you know, people slipping into hell, and into hell every day. People dying every day. The Bible says hell hath enlarged herself and opened her mouth wide without measure. People going to hell, dying in their sins every day, going to hell, lifting their eyes up in hell. Jesus told about a man that was rich in Luke 16 that a man died and lifted his eyes up in hell. And he started crying out in pain and agony, begging because he was being tormented in them flames. Hell is real and people are really dying every day. And we need to consider these things. See, we go by our day, we won't even think about it. We won't even consider our lives because this, this world got us so distracted that people ain't even thinking about where you're going to spend eternity. Nobody's thinking about the life after death, you know, until it really sinks in until you lose somebody close then you really start thinking about it and then a couple months go by you forget about it but i'm telling you this is real we're gonna die one day and it's time to start considering your life you going to heaven or you going to hell you gotta make that decision to either serve jesus christ or you go die in your sin and lift your eyes up in hell it is real and i'm trying to tell as many people as i can because it's reality one day we here the next day we gone we all living on borrowed time it's either heaven or it's either hell. Y'all be blessed.